Hey, welcome to the introduction of the new Rivi series from Dentfix Equipment. The Rivi is a battery operated self-piercing riveter. Uh, it can do self-piercing rivets, flow form rivets, punch holes, flatten, same thing as our SPR70 does, our air driven unit, but now we have a battery powered unit ones. Uh, it comes with two 18 volt batteries, uh, the charger, both units come with double batteries, a charger, and they also come with the standard uh, die sets, the universal die sets. Available also are the uh, Tesla die set, uh, Ford die set, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Porsche, Rover, and Audi die sets. There is a little mix up in the, uh, in the dies. Some of them have a little different ones. So we're gonna have a little chart for you guys that shows what each one of these die kits comes with. Um, the SPR, this is our DF SPR 60B. This is a, up to six ton unit and it comes with a standard 1.7 uh, inch deep uh, clamp on it, a battery charger again, and two batteries. This one also comes with a standard 1.7 inch clamp. This is our SPR 80B, eight ton. So it fits in nicely with our SPR 70, which is a 10 ton unit. We have eight ton and six ton here. Uh, the optional available clamps are a 4.9 inch clamp and an 8.7 inch clamp. So you might as well just say nine inch and five inch just to get it around there. And we also have our um, blind rivet adapter. And this blind rivet adapter works on both units. So that's nice there too. Okay guys, we're focusing on the battery right now. Our 18 volt battery again, which we have two of. I'm doing this a little bit backwards rather than just putting it on. I'm showing you how to take it off. There is a white button here on the front that we wanted to press and we want to push it with our thumb sideways. It's a little bit of an awkward motion if you're trying to hold the unit up. So again, placing it down on a tabletop or something like that, pushing with your thumb while pushing that and you're able to slide it out right away. We also have a display on the back, which when it's inserted in, if I push the display, it shows me exactly what my power rating is left on the battery. So now we're gonna take it up. Once the battery's on the unit, you pull the trigger, then that activates the screen. And the screen gives you a display of your kilonewtons, which is very closely related to your tonnage. So here we are at level nine at 80 kilonewtons. We're gonna push a down arrow, level eight, 7.5, seven, 6.5, 6, 5.5, 5.0, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, so we have half ratings in between each uh, 10 units of our kilonewtons. So that's basically four tons all the way up to 80 tons. There's also um, a little button here that's a set button. It shows you how many times the riveter has made an action forward and back. And then it self-releases. So again, the action of it going forward and it's a self-retract on this you'll see that now the unit has been 38 times used, see? So that's the nice display there. There's also a little headlight that is set on right now. Hit it again and it goes off. 
So there it is on. You have a little light to give you a little bit of light in your work area. We also have a neck strap that will hold the weight of the tool up around your neck and uh, give you a little bit of support when you're uh, either putting on new dies, which the dies go on very easily. The, I'll just see the flattening dies here. They just slip right in, no screwing really, until you get to the point where you want to tighten it with the little Allen screw, just to hold it securely in so it doesn't fall out. And then there'll be one on this side as well, and you just tighten it. So very simple and easy to use tool. And uh, the C-clamp itself will come off completely just by pressing out this pin. It holds in very tight and nice, but it's easy to slip it in and lock it in. And there it stays locked in. It uses the same battery packs as the other unit. Uh, slip on and off is pretty much the same. This one seems to slide a little bit easier on and off. Uh, you have your pressure adjustment here. So it starts off at, at zero here. And every clockwise turn brings you up another tonnage rating. So we're at 30 tons now. You bring it all the way around to the circle, give or take a little bit of distance there. And now we're at four tons. And then you bring it around again, we're at five tons. And you bring it around again, and we're basically at six tons. But there is a little bit of give in that. So it's an approximation. And again, when you're adjusting, you want to make sure that the metal is not being dimpled, that it's as flush. So you're always testing panels beforehand. Same locking mechanism, neck brace to hold the unit. They all come with a little bit of sampling of rivets as well, from your flow form rivets uh, to your self-piercing. Thank you.